Hello everyone! As promised, today I'm going to show you how to make coffee ice cream because today is September 29th, National Coffee Day. I think most of us have probably heard about National Coffee Day because a lot of the shops around town have been advertising it. They're giving away free coffee today. So go out and enjoy yours. Um, we recently just got the Pampered Chef ice cream maker and we're having a lot of fun with it, making all different kinds of ice cream. So we decided on National Coffee Day, why not make coffee ice cream? So that's what we're doing. That's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. Um, it's kind of a multi-step process. Because first of all, you have to freeze your ice cream bowl for 24 hours in the freezer. So we've done that. And then what I have on the stove here right now, I did two and a half cups of milk. I added about three quarters cup of sugar to that. Stirred until it dissolved. And I brought it to a light uh, simmer. And once it was kind of simmering, I, my kids are very noisy, I'm sorry. Once it was kind of simmering, I took it off the heat and I added about half a cup of coffee. And I kind of just kind of just put it in a filter inside my little strainer basket here. I didn't really have anything special. I don't have filter bags for straining coffee or for seeping coffee. So I kind of, you know, it's not Pampered Chef. It's just a little strainer, strainer basket. And I just threw the coffee in there and I let it seep for about 30 minutes. I've got a nice autumn maple blend in here so it'll be nice and fallish even though it's still over 100 degrees here in Phoenix. Okay, so I have that on the stove. It's been seeping for 30 minutes. And I took it out and I just kind of pressed out all the coffee so we can get a nice rich flavor. And I just added a tablespoon of vanilla to the mixture. So now it looks really good. Okay, and then over here in the classic batter bowl, I have a cup of heavy whipping cream. And I'm gonna use the classic batter bowl to store in the fridge. We're gonna um, chill this for two hours in the fridge. And I'm gonna use the classic batter bowl because for one, it's got measurements on the side. Two, it has a lid. So easy storage in the fridge. And three, it has pour spout. So we're just gonna pour it right into our ice cream maker after a couple of hours when it's ready. So, so excited for this. So my milk mixture is gonna go in here. I'm gonna mix it together and we're gonna chill it for two hours. And then we'll be done. And we'll show you how to put it in the ice cream maker. I'm so excited for this. Okay, so our coffee ice cream mixture is chilled. It's ready to go. Our bowl and our lid are frozen. I just put the power source on. We've got our paddle on. I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to make homemade ice cream. Uh, our coffee ice cream was a bit of a process because we had to like brew the coffee and kind of infuse some flavors. But usually ice cream, it can be as simple as you want it. Basic vanilla. You're literally just mixing together milk, whipping cream, and vanilla, and voila, pour it into the bowl, and you're done. Vanilla is probably the simple one. It is simple. I'm going to lock this on. What the? That shook me. Sorry? <laughs> okay, I'm going to give our mixture a quick stir, because it's been sitting for a couple of hours. Okay. Ice cream maker turned on before you pour it in your mixture, otherwise it might freeze to the bowl. So, we're going to pour into this little hole right here, and we're going to make some ice cream. Oh, down it goes. Coffee ice cream. I'm trying to focus it. Wow. All right. It actually started to look like coffee. A coffee maker, 2.0. Smells so good. Okay, so we'll see you guys in 20 minutes because this is just gonna churn and churn and churn for 20 minutes. When we come back, we'll have ice cream. Okay, bye. No, well, not bye yet. Okay, so I think our ice cream is done. We did end up adding a bit more time. We added about 15 more minutes because your ice cream should be soft serve consistency. Okay. So, I 
I think that's pretty good. It looks a little icy. It looks a little icy. Yeah, we made some vanilla the other day that turned out so creamy and delicious. I'll have to show that to you too. But I think that's I think that's probably good because it's gonna go in the freezer for a couple more hours. Okay, James, I have to put you down. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're gonna take our paddle off and it just pops out here. There we go. Okay, and then we're gonna hand that to Kai because he's been dying to try coffee ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just be eating this. It's dripping. Okay, Kai. Go ahead and show everybody what the ice cream looks like. Before all this drips off. Mom, it's all dripping. Okay, well, let's finish this video then. Okay. Up here. Now all that you do, now that your ice cream is done, is you put on this stretch tight lid, or I should say stretch fit lid. Mm. And you pop it back in the freezer. And then you can just scoop your ice cream right from your ice cream maker bowl. Mm, that's good. It tastes like chocolatey vanilla. Oh. This tastes really good, Mom. Tastes like chocolatey vanilla? Hmm. I almost want to try cold coffee. This tastes like cold coffee. <laughs> All right. Well, that is <laughs> it from our kitchen.